Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations uh, How to Repair Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be looking at a BW Gas Alert Max XT2. It's a common pumped unit and we're going to be talking about how to replace the sensors. So we got some sensors here. Uh, this is the LEL. We've got our H2S and CO sensors here and an oxygen sensor here. Alright, start it off. Uh, we're going to leave the monitor off this time. We're going to leave this on. This is the, the plate that keeps the pump, the gas flowing into the sensors. It's called the diffusion plate cover and we're going to start taking it apart. So the major thing to be careful of is this right here and I'm going to show you how to do it properly. The important thing to watch is when we're taking this out is you want to rock it upwards like that and then push it forward that way. When it gets really important is when we put it back on here we're going to want to watch and make sure that we close it up and put it on there and then rock it downward again. Um, the reason for that is if you look closely here on the side, this seal here can very easily um, just become damaged. And when that's damaged, it doesn't seal properly, you'll get pump faults, and it'll drive you nuts. So we don't want to deal with that. All right, so take that one off first, put that aside for now. Then we're going to take these six screws out of the back. You don't have to take this one out, leave that one alone. You know, I fought against using electric screwdrivers like this for years. But now that everyone finally convinced me to use them, it's a real godsend. <clears throat> so, depending on what sensor that you're going to be replacing. Okay, now we got this open here. Let's do this part. This is another part you want to be a little bit careful. Once you've got all the screws out, we're going to take those out right there. Let's see if there's any stragglers holding behind. Sometimes there are. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Okay, now when we take this apart, sometimes it'll stick together a little bit. Let's see, like this one's sticking. This one hasn't been opened in a long time. Just want to be real careful. Just do it slowly. You can put some downward pressure on it and then pull apart at the top. Then once you get it apart, don't just yoink it open. Oh, that filter came out. Let's poof that off to the side over here. Just want to open it up slowly. And the reason for that is because of this little piece of tubing right here. So we're going to leave that alone. You don't even need to disconnect it. You can just leave it right there. Take this here. There's two screws here. See these? I'm going to take those out nice and easy. Put those off to a different side. So you don't mix them up. Okay, and now this whole piece here, here's your battery. See that plugs in there. This is your pump that plugs in there. Both of those parts come out. But we're just going to leave them plugged in for now. If they come out, don't, you know, don't worry. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to pull this apart. Sometimes this gasket will stick here. Like you see this, this gasket here? Uh, sometimes this will stick here. Sometimes it will stick there. doesn't really matter. I always put it back over here just to keep it uh, secure and in place. But here's your sensors. Let's put this over here for now. Okay. So here we have our, this is our explosive sensor, the LEL or combustible sensor. And then here we have our carbon monoxide, the red. And then our hydrogen sulfide is the blue. And then we have our oxygen down here. So there's a few little tricks here. One is if you're taking these sensors out, these pop out laterally. So you just kind of put some pressure on them sideways. And sometimes they don't want to come out, so you got to be... There you go. I had to hold it against myself. They just slide right out that way. Don't try and lift them up. They just go in and out that way. So if you were having a problem, you just take it, pop it out, and then pop the new one in. This sensor is actually working fine, so we're just going to pop it right back in there. See when it goes in, it just slides and it'll it'll just click and lock in. Perfect. Okay, so the next one here is going to be your oxygen sensor. Now it's a little hard to grab sometimes, so if you're trying to pop that out, sometimes it can be a real bear. A lot of times, an easier thing to do is to take a small screwdriver of some sort. And if you look, there's a little hole on the bottom. And if you get a small enough screwdriver, if that one wasn't, you, you can push it right through just like that. Okay, so you just pop it right in through the bottom. There's a little hole right there. Okay, and you just pop that one out. And then here's so there's two different oxygen sensors that work in this. There's this blue one that's a city tech, and there's a purple one that's an alpha sense. Either of them work. The monitor was spec for either one. So this one's been working fine though, so I'm just going to leave this one back in there. But otherwise, we would take this one, we would pop it in, and just let it sit. So let's put this back together now two prongs here 
line up to the two metal prongs on this end. Pop that one in there. And now we're going to take this one here. And we're just going to flip it right back around. And we're going to drop this one. Come on now. You know, it's every time you're on video, these things never want to behave properly. You know, it would really help if I was doing this right side up, huh? <laughs> Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. There we go. Okay, so now the two screws, we're going to put these ones, these are the board screws. You can tell they're smaller than the other screw, so that's how you can tell which ones are which. So we're just going to pop these ones in right now. And you can tell where they go, there's a little spot on the board that just says screw right on it. And that's how you can tell that's where that one goes. Do the other side. Okay, perfect. So now those are all together. We can pop this back on here. Now we just, when we put the clamshell together, you just want to make sure that everything fits together properly and it all goes together nice and smooth. So sometimes if you go to put it together, you'll notice that maybe there's some obstruction. Sometimes this tube can get caught over here or it can get caught above that. So you just want to make sure that that all goes together nice and easily and that there's nothing obstructing anything. Perfect, there we go, now it fit together nice. All right, now these go back in. We'll screw these in here. Try not to turn the monitor on or it'll make that beeping sound at you while you're doing this. That'll be okay. No, I hear you. If you do, just press the button and it'll turn off. You don't have to over tighten the screws, just make sure they're nice and snug. You don't want to really crank them down. I've got torque settings on this, so. But it's nice and light. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now here's the moment of truth. Once you have all these in here, you want to put this filter back on here. Make sure it's sitting nice and flush. And if you see here, do you see how there's a little tiny bit of damage here anyway? That's likely to happen the more you take this case off. Uh, you just want to be really careful of it as best you can. If it gets uh, too bad, you can you can glue it back and take a uh, like a flathead screwdriver and just kind of push it up just like that put a little glue there and you can hold that down but best case scenario you don't have to do that now this little tiny bit won't impair the device so we're okay here but if it gets much more than that I would start looking at gluing it okay now I put this on see how I kind of like put it on downward first push that in there then you want to slide this in push it on slide it and make sure it clicks on then we take that little piece here, screw it in, and now you're all set. Monitor's all back together. Everything's good to go. Okay, so that's how to that's how to replace the sensors on the Max XT2. If you have any questions or anything goes strange along those lines, uh, let us know. Make sure you once you install a sensor like an oxygen sensor that you wait at least half an hour, hopefully 45 minutes to an hour before you turn the unit back on. Just install it, let it sit in there, and then let it go through a calibration cycle. Do a zero, do a calibration on it, and it should be working fine. But make sure you give it that hour. Okay, if you have any questions, our number here is 734-956-0539. And you can email us at support at idealcalibrations.com, or you can visit our website, idealcalibrations.com. Anyway, if you have any questions along the lines, feel free to hit that or leave a comment, and subscribe if you can. We'd appreciate it. And thank you much. You have a great day out there, and stay safe.